What's up, guys? My name is Julius Reese Jr. Uh, most people call me by Little Juice. I'm a six foot four center fielder and left fielder for a Greensboro Day School. Um, use, uh, most of the people might recognize me from my recent video, my day in the life video, that when I'm working out with basketball, which the link should be in the um, video later on. So uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys how I go about my day. I'm uncommitted um, in both sports, basketball and baseball. I fell, I fell in love with this sport. Actually, not too long ago, kind of recently, I fell in love with this sport. You know, I played both. I've been playing both sports for a long time, baseball and basketball, but particularly baseball, I've been playing it longer. I've been playing it since I was probably seven. Um, yeah, and I just, I just, I just, it's my second love. It's my, it's my other sport. Yeah, so I just fell in love with that. One of my biggest inspirations and role models when it came to the sport is actually my um, older cousin, um, E.P. Reese. He uh, played at North Davidson High School and he uh, went on to play at NC State Liberty and went some state and later got drafted for the Houston Astros. So ever since he started playing, I made sure I wore all his numbers throughout his high school career. So like when I saw they had 15 open, I do remember, they had 15, five, a lot of his numbers, his numbers he had, they had open. I was like, man, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. I was hoping they had his pro number uh, for my school, but they didn't, it was a little extra big for me. But yeah, he's been one of my role models, my inspirations for playing this sport. Um, my father, he also, he helps me out. He helps me train, you know, throw base. We go uh, take batting practice a lot. He throws the balls at me and stuff. Um, just like as he does with basketball, him and my trainer, Drew Cone, um, which that's all in my last video. Um, yeah, so uh, today is game day. We play Cal, we play Calvary today there. It's gonna be a nice matchup. They're number two in the conference right now. We're number one. So, you know, if all goes well, we should end this day out with a dub, man. That's that's the goal. That's that's the main goal, you know. Uh yeah, so we just I'm just gonna show y'all how I get ready, how I prepare for game day, um, how my online school looks, the setup, um, the drip, you know, the drip always gotta be crazy, you know. My motto look good, feel good, play good. And as you can tell, I'm just waking up. You can see my hair is undone and yeah, you know, I gotta I can't go out there looking like this. You know, I got to go out there looking good. You know, that's the goal. So, yeah, I'm just, should be a nice long day. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through it, man. So stay tuned, man. But yeah, so this is, what the, this is what the online school drill look like, man. Got to make sure you look presentable going into class. See, just got this. I got a little juice to the side. <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know, just... This is how I get ready. This one I'm wearing today for class. You know, got the hoodie, hat, chain. Just brush my teeth. You know, about to go outside and show you guys the setup. So let's go. Let's get to it, man. So my game day breakfast is not really. It's it's really a regular breakfast to me. I, I kind of don't change up anything. Um, I gotta. I usually gotta keep a banana on deck. You know, for the cramps. It gives me you know potassium. Gives me the right stuff I need to you know go throughout my day. I use these like they're snacks, like fruit. I, that's just regular to me. It's not really nothing special. It's just a regular snack to me. I can eat fruit all day. So banana, I always got to keep that on deck, especially especially for breakfast time. Make sure I get my favorite cereal that I've been eating maybe since I was six. Captain Crunch. This right here. If you you eat this, me and you can be best friends. Like most of my friends, they tell me that. I eat that, they're, they're very nasty, but I've been eating this since I was a little child and I would eat it so much till I get blisters and the top of my gums would get raw and I'll have to stop. So yeah, that's really what that's really what I eat for breakfast. It's, that's kind of an everyday thing for me, game day or no game day if I'm just working out. I don't really have a particular diet with anything because I have a high metabolism, so I lose more than I would gain. So I don't, and I don't overeat. So I try to just, you know, keep a balanced meal throughout the day. Maybe sometimes two meals a day, three, three on a good day. I just have one, you know, breakfast and then a big meal somewhere out through the end of the day. So yeah, that's, it's not really a diet or anything. It's just, that's just how I eat. That's just what I do. Um, I always got to make sure you drink some water early in the morning. As breakfast, you know, my trainer tried to tell me, you know, 
two bottles of water a day uh, just to stay hydrated, you know, keep your blood flowing. Uh, not cold water, make sure it's room temperature. That's really what, that's that's my breakfast right there. You know, that's every day. That's an everyday thing. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. yeah, that's about it, man. The most difficult thing about being a dual sport athlete with basketball and baseball is just trying to be able to fit everything in in one year. Like when it comes to juggling school, working out, being with your friends, just it, almost everything. It, it brings like a huge conflict with it because like you you know you already can't just fit everything in at one time. You know it's not enough time in the day for that. So you have to really like have everything scheduled out, planned out, hour by hour. When you want to do this, when you want to do that, like it's a lot. And it can also get tiring and frustrating. Yeah, at, at very I get very aggravated at times. But you know, for for me trying to get to where I want to get to, there's a lot of sacrifices that has to be made. And my time and what I want what I want to do versus what I need to do is one of those sacrifices that I had to make. So you know, you take our classes outside, man. You know. Show y'all my little setup. I think I got the dog somewhere in the cut. He's somewhere down. I don't know. Come here. Hey. Yeah, so. Oh, it's a nice day out here. But you know, so this is my little setup. Um computer, you know, got the computer right here. Uh it's usually really all I need is a good thing today. Today is my chill day with classes. So you know, I got my computer right there. It's really the only other thing I need. My math packet. Um yeah, like it's not too difficult. It's not too, like there's nothing too difficult about online class. The only like the things that I really hate about it is just you know not being in class. You know I need I'm a teacher pet, so you know, I kind of like that hands-on communication when it comes to like learning new stuff or new material in class. That's one thing I hate about. It. Another thing is just like another thing I hate about it, it's kind of hard to stay focused because you know being at home there's a whole lot of distractions that could occur. So just trying to stay focused, that's one of the biggest issues that I probably do have with it. But other than, like out of those problems, my grades are still good right now. It could be better, but you know, they're good. 3.8 GPA, so it, it could, it's good right now. Um, My favorite thing, my, my favorite thing about the class though, is there are times where we get out of school, maybe we'll get out of class, like maybe 20 minutes earlier than the ones that's in school because like we do everything and then when we finish it all most of the stuff that we do is like work that we can do on our own so like when we finish it all and it's just, like go on have a good day like that's that's like one of my favorite things because you know it you don't like you don't it's rare where you get out of class early like that so yeah that's why that's like one of my favorite things when it comes to class and stuff um yeah but like out of all the issues though like overall i'm having a good like online school year, like I have no problems with online. So yeah, I just gotta keep it up, you know. Maybe got four, I think I got four or five more weeks in school, so I just gotta keep it up to then. Feel like my greatest strength, strengths and weaknesses, and one of my weaknesses that I bring to the game. First, my strength, uh, just being able to get the ball and play. I know a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, when it comes to baseball, they do have problems with just trying to get the ball and play because they're either trying to either swing out the park or try to place it to a certain area. With with me, I'll just go out there and play ball. That's just that's just what I do. I go out there, I see the ball. If I feel like I can hit it. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit it, put it in play, try to get to the to the base. It's just baseball. It's just a it's a one step at a time thing. You just can't overthink yourself. You overthink yourself. You start to just do things that you shouldn't be able to. You you just can't do. Um, one of, I feel like one of my biggest weaknesses that I can work on as a baseball player is more of like a leadership thing. See, I try to find. I'm trying to find ways to bring my leadership from a, from the basketball court onto the baseball field and just so just if that's like talking. 
letting the infield know what play play it is, like if it's a double play, uh, just tag third or something like that. Just those areas, those leadership areas, that was something I can work on. Keeping my head up, great um, body language, no matter what happens, a strikeout, error, anything in the field, just anything that can make me and the team look good. That's one of my weeks I feel like I can't work on some more. Honestly, when I first realized I needed to start taking baseball more serious was last around last year. My uh, when we started my base when we started baseball for my last school at Glen High School. Um, I realized that just with me being around a different commits on my team and just being around more iron, you know, iron sharpens iron. Just being around that, it kind of put a put it kind of put more of a spark in my flame when it comes to playing baseball because we had one dude that was actually set to get drafted and just watching that it just it kind of it kind of inspired me a lot just to like okay I can I just need options I like I can't rely on one thing because you put you you can only get two options after putting all your eggs in one basket it's either it could go all good or it can go all wrong you have nothing to fall back on so it was now maybe just a year ago where I've actually realized it's time for me to take baseball serious Base, any base. Man, every game day, one thing I love to do, listen to some old school R&B music, just little slow jams, love songs, breakup music. 
it, anything to put me in my feelings. I feel like when I'm just in my feelings, I, I'm more focused and zoned in. It, I don't, I don't. It's weird, but yeah, that's that's one of my biggest biggest things I do on every game day. It doesn't make it can be jagged edge, uh, some old school new edition. See silk. See some people don't know about all this. See it's it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of groups and people behind me night. That's one of my big. That's probably my number one go to every time. My biggest of uh, my opinion on that, honestly, I f it's tough coming from a dual sport athlete because you have two sports that you love, that you love dearly, like you just play, you've been playing your whole life. And it's hard, and then you you have to always keep in the back of your head that one day, one of one of them, it doesn't matter which one, but one of them will come to an end. So it's, like with me, right now, I'm, st I'm like stuck, like dead in the middle on what I want, like which one I want to do because I worked so hard and I worked so hard on both of them and it's like hard to just give up one because you try to, you think about it, it's like, man, you worked so hard for this, why give it up now? It's like, and then like with me, basketball and baseball is doing the same, like same time frame, season frame, so it overlaps. So it's 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 tough, it's just real tough. And like, I'm still trying to figure out, I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but when the time comes, I'm just waiting for. I'm I'm really just waiting for the best thing, what, the best thing, the best situation. What situation will put me in the best place to make money or do what I want to do for the rest of my life and make sure I'm straight, my family's straight, and my family is straight in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Um, just basically how I went through my day. Just you guys saw me get up, get ready for school, um, how I go through with my day, how classes are, um, my my rituals, my routines before the games. Uh, came out here, we came came up short, but we'll see him again tomorrow. Uh, came down, wasn't really came, it came down to the wire a little bit. We made some kind of missed mistakes in the uh, field, in the infield beforehand. Um, went two for four today, uh, so we just come out here, come back out here tomorrow. You know, get ready. Uh, hopefully get get back at them, you know, it's like conference game, so you know it's gonna be tough. Um, shout, out to every, shout out to everybody that's been with me through day one, Maya, uh, Maya, somebody, all them, man, good, you know. Uh, so thank you for watching, man, and see you guys next time.